even though both my parents grew up on a farm. I didn't come to gardening till last fall. I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. What started it all? Our parkway tree died unexpectedly in August. It got oak root fungus, which is prevalent in Los Angeles County. Don't let your sprinkler water hit the base of the trees. Who knew? In the process of trying to save it and not, I got in touch with my soil. There's only a dwindling amount of topsoil left on the planet. Don't take it for granted and cover it up with concrete. The acacia was a parkway tree, and I got a permit to remove it and replant it. That took a couple of months. The city took the tree out, but it was up to me to take the stump out if I wanted to plant a tree in the same spot, which I did. I had help with that, a lot of help. I met Jack, a biodynamic farmer of 45 years, and he suggested I plant citrus trees and surround them with nasturtium and herbs. And by then, I was hooked. This was my yard. The sun goes over this way. The acacia tree was here and shaded this much yard. Once that was gone, I had a lot more sun. Vegetables need sun. Who knew? So one by one, I pulled out my bushes to create space to grow vegetables that my family could eat. The grass, which was full of weeds anyway, was a waste of resources, Jack said, so that was the next to go. I had help with that. Once the grass was gone, I had to deal with mud. I kept tracking it all over, but I didn't want to commit to hardscape until I knew how much space I wanted for vegetables. It's April, I still don't know. <laughs> so a neighbor passing by suggested I put down a bale of alfalfa. This bought me some time. This is looking a little sketchy, so I'm going to put down a fresh layer of alfalfa. I can't lift the whole thing all at once. My neighbors kept asking if I was going to get a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use hay. It sprouts. Who knew? By this time, it was November, and I could only plant cool season vegetables, so I planted cauliflower. I like cauliflower. So do bugs. Since my yard is small, the sun was low in the sky, and my parkway had the best sun, that's where I planted them all five of them. Next, I put in a six by three foot raised bed. I had help with that. Then a free flowing raised bed. I did that. Then I harvested my four cauliflower. Then I planted a watermelon patch. Then a cabbage patch. And that brings us to today. All the while, I got a great response from my neighbors. So I came up with the idea of late bloomer. Are you a late bloomer like me? This is what you'll find on late bloomer. We're going to plant vegetables <laughs> and eat them. I'm a bunny rabbit. We're going to get dirty. Neighbors are going to drop by to give me a hand and advice. It's going to get red. But above all, we're going to have fun. We'll check out neighbors' gardens for inspiration. We'll talk to experts. And the key is, is when the green dies off. We may even talk about flowers. I hope you tune in and tell your friends. It's never too late to start growing vegetables. Even though both of my parents grew up on farms, I had never dog. Even though both of my parent airplane, dog. <laughs> Tune in again for non-stop airplane noise. <laughs> <laughs>